Hello there from Port Ventura, Hotel Gold River. We've unfortunately not stayed here, have we? No. But we are here now for the opening of Uncharted, the Enigma of Penitence, the new roller coaster from Intamin, opening in the far west area of Port Ventura. It's a multi dimensional roller coaster and very, very happy and grateful to have been invited to the preview event today. Mark, what are you expecting today? I don't know, you know. I've obviously seen the the little YouTube videos that PA have put on there, and it and it looks good. But other than that, I do, honestly don't know what to expect. Absolutely love the, the game franchise that they have. If it stays true to that and uh, offers that, that kind of thrills, it's been an incredible coaster. I'm genuinely looking forward to it. Obviously, it's, like we've got Solid Art Rides that's done some work on it as well. So I'm yeah. expecting something really, really good from it. So it's the first collaboration on a roller coaster between Intamin and Sally Dart Rides, which I think is an interesting prospect because they're both incredible at what they do. Intamin, as as we all know, they make great roller coasters and Sally Dart Rides make great dart rides. So it's a really interesting mix. It's going to be great to see how they've sort of collabed on this project. When the building for this roller coaster first went up, I remember sending you pictures and everyone else pictures that knows this part well, and I was like, that is going to be an eyesore in Far West if, it, if they don't theme it. For what we've seen on pictures, they have themed it incredibly well. The rock work on it looks incredible. So yeah, yeah. looking forward to actually seeing it in person. And uh, just excited to get on the coaster. I mean, if it's anything like the Movie Studios coaster at Movie Park Germany, which is a similar type of coaster, it really is going to be good for everybody that goes on it. Whether we can film on the ride or not, I really, really don't know but we'll film as much as we can from this morning's event. It is already very, very warm. So I don't know about Mark, but by the end of this video, I will be a sweaty mess because it's just roasting. It's like 30 degrees already. It is warm, it is warm. It's 8.30 like, in the morning, man. That's the one thing that I hope that they thought of in that, in that big show building. Yeah. There's some fans in that queue line. That's what I'm hoping as well. Yeah. So there'll be hopefully be fans of the ride and fans to keep us cool. Yes. Bit of a dodgy dad joke there. But yeah, <laughs> let's go then. We're all checked in for the Uncharted media event. I've got to say, this is a proud moment. I've been visiting this park for 17 years, and if you followed like what, when we were Pleasure Beach Experience, and of course now your experience guide, you'll know that I especially really, really like Port Ventura, so it is a very proud moment to be here for the launch of a new roller coaster on the press event. Very, very grateful. Of course, grateful to everybody that watches us and has put us in this position to, to be invited to these events. Really are grateful. Are you excited now? Very excited. Yeah. You know, excited to, to listen to what they've got to say and getting on the coaster. Don't know what to expect, but I am genuinely excited to, to see what they've done. Yeah, and uh, do you want to show the drawstring bag? Because we've been given, as well as the lanyard and the, the press pass, which we can keep, we've Give been it. given a drawstring bag. Nice bag. And it's like really good quality, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'll take that. We've got a nice mug in there as well. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> really pleased, really excited. It is one ride per group, so we'll only be doing it once. So we're going to try and get a front row, try and get a POV of it. We can't promise because it is going to be dark in there. We've been told you can take your GoPro on, but it will be dark. So we'll give it a shot. It might be a bit like the Valhalla rider can we did, where it's just bits of it, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I don't know about you, mate, but I'm buzzing now. Yeah, can't wait for it to start. Should we go and see what's happening? Yes.
tenemos a unas cuantas personas aquí para ayudarnos. Solo una cosita, chicos. En realidad no podemos llamar a esto una misión secreta si hemos invitado a nuestro pueblo para que nos ayude a recuperar el tesoro a Uncharted attraction. I just wanted to ask very quickly from concept to final production what we see before us today How's the, the general process of that? How does that work usually? Well first we we, we launch a, a customer research uh, on what kind of attraction we should have uh, For us the answer was quite easy because that was actually the only attraction that we didn't have a dark roller coaster So we knew from the very beginning that we wanted a dark roller coaster um, the, a, the important thing for us was to make sure that we have a different product, not only as a dark roller coaster, but also the theme. Uh, and that's why when you enter here in the far west, you see a huge mountain, which is completely different. Uh, and then you enter into a, a, a queue that is totally themed, and, and we start to tell you the story of what you're going to discover in the attraction. So for us, it was customer research and product. Cool. So for me, the question is, why Intamin? Why Sally Dart Rides? are obviously the great manufacturers, but what made them the best people for this project? Intamin, uh, as you know, is, is one of the top uh, uh, manufacturers. Uh, for us, security is fundamental, so we want to work only with the top. We know that they are a lot more expensive, but we want to work with the top. So for us, security was the number one choice. And then uh, reliance, uh, the, 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 they are very reliant uh, uh, from, from, a, from a development perspective. We did Ferrari Land with them, we did the Red Force with them, and it was super well, so Intamin was a no-brainer for us. Uh, and Sally, uh, I mean, just seen the theme of the attraction. We did a Street Mission with them, it went super well. I think they're super creative, and, and, and we decided to go together with them because actually they could actually take Sony and chart it to a next level from a storytelling perspective. So they're experts on that. We work very well with them in, in a strict mission, and that's why we choose them. Excellent. And one, one more for me is, how important was it for you to make sure that this ride fit in with Far West, because this is a beautifully themed area already? Yeah, but that was a challenge. The challenge is how do you connect and chart it with the Far West, or you put it, I mean, we could have put it in China, but I don't think it fits in China. No. <laughs> <laughs> we could have put it in Polynesia, I don't think it's in Polynesia, but, so for us was, okay, we had the space in here. We had, and Charlie is about the explorers. So Far West also was about the explorers, is like finding gold, uh, and so that's why we actually came up with the story of finding a treasure, a gold treasure, and that's why we put it in, in the middle of Far West and Mexico because you have an Aztec, Aztec storytelling inside because we're also connecting with Mexico in here. Yeah, I think it looks like it just fits in perfectly. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, and the skyline is just beautiful. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You, see, you see like you are in the Colorado mountains somehow. That's why far from it is. How did the Uncharted thing come along with the development of the ride? How, how, did, you, how did that come to you? It's, it's a very good question because it, it's, it's for us working with uh, with our own brand something that we created is easier because we don't have to ask uh, anybody. Sony has a very strict guidelines in terms of branding and storytelling, so we had to go through them on a regular basis. And Sally, that right, we have to go through them to make sure that everything we do in terms of storytelling fit fit with the brand of the target. 
So it went fine. It's different for us. And we, we had the same with Ferrari. We had the back uh, the, the experience with Ferrari as well. And uh, it, it's a different process, but it went well. I think it went well. And why did you choose Uncharted for all the films out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, I think Sony came with different IPs. Uh, and we have other company coming with different ideas as well. And we did a research and wh what we like about Uncharted is the film but also is the gaming. Actually initially is the gaming. And internationally they have a very good penetration. We have some data about the gaming penetration, about the Uncharted game penetration in the international markets. And that was very, very attractive for us because we are trying to penetrate more the UK, the French and the Benelux markets. And we checked some numbers in those markets and that game particularly was well known. Well, what an excellent morning that's been at the Uncharted preview event. Mark, what is your thoughts so far? What an incredible ride. Yeah. What an incredible like, start to finish. It's not like, obviously, before it, we've all seen it. But when you're walking through the queue line, it sets the tone yeah. of this ride. And the theme that it goes through, that you're exploring these caves. You know, and you, obviously, as a fan of Uncharted, the, the games, some many, many hours into them. Yeah. Nathan Drake, Sully, Chloe. It's just, I, I don't even think you need to know anything about them no, well, to get the story. I like. don't. I don't. I, I, I can genuinely say I've never played the game. And when, when you messaged and said, oh, look at this, it's going to be an Uncharted coaster, I think you'll remember I was a little bit like, what are they doing that for? How does that fit into the Far West? But it does, it does fit. And like I say, I, I don't know much about the games, but I don't need to because I've, I've had, well, we have two rides, yeah. two really good rides on it. And like you say, the pre-show, you yeah. don't need to know anything about the games or the film. It's just so well done. It's they've executed it, executed it so well. Yeah, it is like you're exploring a, a, a tomb or such. Yeah, or, it is. A, a cave, and you're finding this, you know, finding the gold in the in the mountain, which obviously fits in with Wild West because everyone went looking for gold, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, so it's just honestly, even when you get through and then you get into the station itself. The station itself is like you've entered in it just opens up this big cave. Do you know what? I'll give you the camera for a minute. <laughs> My arms are in. So you've played the games, yes. you're obviously really impressed with the theming, but in terms of like I've been a Port Ventura fan since like 2006 and it's just the way that they've implemented this into the far west. The far west area in this park is probably my favourite area of this park. And I was really worried when I saw this building going up and I was like, is this actually gonna fit into this area? It really does, it fits so well that the theming on the outside, the theming on the inside, the ride itself, the ride is well different to what I expected. I yeah. said earlier in this vlog that I thought it was gonna be like Movie Studios coaster at Movie Park Germany. It's yeah. absolutely nothing like it. I can't remember the name of it, but it's more like the coaster in the Harry Potter bit in Florida and Universal Studios. Escape from Green Gods. There it is, that's the one. That is the one. They're just about to start playing music behind us, so yeah. we're gonna move. So what did you think of the coaster? Obviously it's manufactured by Intamin, dark ride stuff done by Sorry. Sally Dark Rides. I personally thought that all of it was an incredible mix. I, I agree, because like, I was expecting, like you said, just to go forwards and backwards. That's all, you know, when you saw the stuff they put in, expected the backwards, but I wasn't expecting sideways, I wasn't expecting it to move around with showing you the show scenes. And one thing I'd like to point out as well is the seats themselves, are sort of elevated the further you go back so it yes. doesn't matter whether you're sat in front middle or back you will see everything yeah literally because one thing we were worried about is like if we were in say the, the middle row we'd not see certain bits but we saw everything because we did what actually happened is that something happened that allowed us to have a second go basically and we went on with david garcia who's the managing director here which so it was an honor in itself and we ended up doing the back row second time round after doing the front row first time round. And when we were on the back row, we were like, actually, we can see everything here. We yeah. can actually see everything that's going on. And I think, like, I'll be honest, I preferred it at the back rather than at the front. Yeah. Because there's certain sections in it where you, you pass through by, and there's like bats above you. Yes. And, you know, and, you, and you're going round and it's supposed to smoke that we didn't get on the front row. It's like yeah. it's time for like the middle of the train. So I personally like preferred it at the back and I thought it was fabulous. It's done the screens work well, there's good animatronics in it, you know, and it, I genuinely really enjoyed it. And that sideways launch 
was brilliant. Yeah, so I'm take over. Yes, because my. So coming towards the end of this video, then, something I will say is Europe needs more insulin and more Sally Dart Rides collaborations. Yes. Because they, they've clearly worked to well, well, so well together. It's like a match made that I didn't think it'd ever happen on a roller coaster, but here we are, Port Ventura, with a Sally Dart Rides themed roller coaster from Intamin, which goes forwards, backwards, sideways. It's in the dark, with special effects, a pre-show. Just bloody brilliant, isn't it? It just works so well. And like, like David was saying earlier on, you know, that, that last bit, and it, you look up and you then drop from the helicopter. Yeah. It just, honestly, it, it took my breath away as to the level of detail in it and how well the storyline's probably, you don't miss anything. It's nope. just an absolutely incredible attraction. It really is. And you know what? It's going to do wonders for this bike. It's, it's, it's not going to be a thrill level of, say, no, no, Shambhala no. or anything like that, but it's not meant to be. The thing it is, is literally this, for everybody. This park needed a roller coaster that fills the gap somewhere between, say, like Tomahawk and Shambhala because yeah. it doesn't really have it. You've got El Diablo, but El Diablo is outside, it looks quite tall. So, for example, my son's five years old. He, he's tall enough to go on El Diablo. He looked, took one look at it in April and went, no chance. Whereas in Uncharted, it's got a higher height restriction, but people who are maybe a little bit more scared of rides because it's indoors and because it's not really high, they might go, this ride is for me. And it's not a ride that would scare people. It's a ride that will just thrill people whilst having a lot of family fun in a themed environment. So I think that is exactly what they were looking for and I think that's exactly what they've got. It's, it's one of them that realistically, you could go from like Charlie yeah. to your mum. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of, it spreads across the whole whole spectrum. It's not just aimed at a thrill seeker, it's aimed at a family fun environment. Also, if you are disabled and you cannot ride roller coasters physically, you can still experience Uncharted in a VR format because they've actually got a VR experience for people who are in a wheelchair to experience what everyone else experiences on the ride. And it's free. So I think that is incredible. I think it was free. And there's Andy and Abby. So I think it's a good time to wrap the video up. Yes. So what we'll say is, come to Port Ventura, come and do Uncharted, come and do everything else here. I don't think you'll regret it. Many thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next Port Adventure video.